Welcome back to Tran Plays Barrel Trauma. There were a lot of good comments in the last video. I really enjoy reading them. Before we get into that, though, let's go ahead and cover a little bit about electrical engineering. I don't know that much about it, but I did figure out how to install my own lights, and it's probably done in a very poor way. So let me go ahead and start us off with this. So let's say I wanted to install a light here. If I have this right here, this light component, no matter how it shows, it looks like the stem is on the left, the stem points towards the character. So what, if I plant it right here, it's the what would be the leg, I can't zoom in any closer than this, but what would be the leg or arm of it is going to be pointing to the door. See how it just flipped? Okay, but the light's not on. Now it does say in the description requires no electrical input, but I still need to turn it on. To attach a wire to it, we need to equip a screwdriver and a wire of any sort. Go and attach it here. Toggle, uh, maybe it's set state. And then we'll just attach it to the door, state out, and now it's on. If the, the door is closed, it's off. Now, you may say, like, well, I don't want to actually attach it to the door. That, that's true. I just needed to turn it on. I just needed a signal to be sent in, and now we can just take the messenger away, which is the wire. And it will always be on now. We're going to go ahead and lower the alpha of this to 125, so it's not so lightning light, right? I do want more light, but not, not super intense light. Now I have been able to get I have been able to get the game to crash consistently if I hit tab while I'm working in the alpha number field. The alpha being how opaque something is. That's how I do it when I'm making my own thumbnails and stuff, is I use tab to move from one field to another. Our characters have moved around a little bit, just because I believe in cross training. I want our characters to be good at pretty much everything they can possibly be good at. So once we start sailing, well, I'll go ahead and look at our characters' stats. For now, let's go ahead and assign the repair leaks, because I, I thought I might have to start pulling up some of the ground or the hole in order to continue wiring, but we can we can move on. We will 100% hit all the beacon stations that we can get to. Visiting every single outpost and colony is not as imperative. Now we have, I think, 13 or so missions to pick from here, but we only have a cap of 11 right now. We will go and take all of the ones that we can. So we'll max out. We mining, minerals. I think there was a mining quartz, wasn't there? Yeah, we'll, we won't do that one because I know what quartz is. But for example, I don't know. And I, I know what uranium is as well. I don't know what lingbanite is, and I don't know what it's good for. It says bring back six samples, hand over 33%. So if I deconstruct lingbanite, I don't know what I get. Many of these, we will also skip the transport cargo because we only have enough to bring the husk eggs. <laughs> and that's all the missions we'll be doing. Mostly termination missions, a couple escort missions, one or two cargo missions, and the rest are mining. This actually makes a very long loading screen, but I always edit to be seamless for you. Okay, a couple things. First off, Officer Neva is going to be commanding our ship this time around. So we're going to have her just autopilot the Brynhess mine and burn up our fuel rods. It'll build up her helm skill while everybody else works the guns. The reason why we're doing all of that, her helm skill is 33. Nashvex's helm skill is in the 40 range. His skills are mostly the same as when they started, but he, they were very high when we got him. His helm, I think, was originally 10. Officer Neva... Um, she, her, her medical, I think was like in the thirties, her weapons was forties. So I boosted her up to a hundred by making her craft stuff. Oh no, her, I think her weapons was 98. The doctors, uh, the bot started with 100 medical and 50 and everything. She's only got four points in weapons and electrical engineering. Fulgaretti has a hundred in mechanical engineering and a hundred in medical. It's got 50 in electrical from crafting seed bags and roughly 26 from just piloting the gun turret. He's got about 60 helm skill from making sure that the ship is running when the Captain Tran is doing beacon stations. Engineers 2 and 1 are roughly the same stats. They have about 80 in electrical engineering, 50 in mechanical. Well, this one is going to get 50 in this round. I'll show you how I do it. And about 20, 30 in weapons. Medical is roughly 40, and helm for the first one was 97, helm for the second one's 47. Remember that everybody's getting three skill points every time they would normally get one, because Doris is hanging out in this area. Captain Tran has a 99 helm skill, 100 medical, 
93 mechanical, 72 in electrical, and 75 in weapons. So he's just basically been crafting. Alright, as far as talent points. Nash Vex, uh, in the comments, says that he thinks he will also go ahead and support being a frogman. Being a frogman will allow him to be a border type unit, whereas Officer Neva is focused more on the gunner side, which does include riflemen, by the way. So they're, they're, all of these things here are under Off Officer Neva's talent tree. This one will be boarding axe slip suit, which also is another comment, which I will talk about. But we'll go ahead and assign these talent points. And then we'll talk more about the slip suit and stuff. Whenever you open a container, huh? Like, I'm assuming just Nash Vex, so it's not for the whole party. Additional items. I mean, that could be like really good alien items, maybe. So we should have Nash Vex be our guy who does the outside stuff. I'm not that worried about harpoons. Sure, there are explosive harpoons, but eventually I'll upgrade to actual guns. So we'll go for a scavenger. And additional swimming speed. That'll really combine nicely with the slip suit, I think. All right, those are his talents. Let's go over to the engineer and have her start working on stuff. We'll assign her to wait here for a second. Uh, whoops. There we go. The reason for this is I want to be able to show you. Right now it's 1200 on charge. I'm going to drop the recharge rate to zero so that you can see uh, when I'm draining from here. This button, toggle battery, if you click it, it doesn't look like anything happens. Listen carefully for the ding. That means I clicked it. Ready? That tiny sound, you'll never hear when, when water is running or people are walking around. you never hear that. That tiny ding says I'm now running on batteries. So let's go ahead and switch it back over to Engineer 174. And we'll see that we're actually slowly draining the charge here. Let's let's make let's make the ship go a little bit faster somewhere. So we'll just do manual setting and steering and just like charge left real quick. Even if she immediately goes to autopilot, uh, it's still gonna take some charge as we as our ship moves around. Okay, so we now we settle down at 11:35. Go back to Officer Neva, hit this battery button, and then manual steering the other direction. Go back to 74. We see that it's still 11:35. So that's what that button does. It uses this charge, this this reserve energy, instead of the reactor. Um, this might be useful if your reactor is on fire, blows up, does not have fuel rods, whatever. I'm thinking, and maybe it's not really recommended, but again, I, I don't actually know what practical purposes of this stuff are. I just have self-taught all this, right? Um, but I'm thinking that maybe when I go from 0 to 100, basically when I'm docked at a beacon station and I go straight to 100% power, maybe we'll do that from the recharge station so we don't experience a brownout as the reactor tries to keep up. I don't know. Maybe that's a horrible idea. All right, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to rewire that. First off, I'm going to get rid of this planter box. I was always intending that these tobacco vines would be temporary anyways, because I wanted to replace them with bananas so that I could get potassium. Potassium is a little bit more useful for a submarine than tobacco. And that should be good enough. Drop this out here and let Bob take care of it. All right, and I could have worked uh, with the relay components even behind the planter, but I want, since this is a video, I want you to be able to see it. Yeah, it's a small brown square. That's really all there is to it. Already, can you tell me what the status is? Of, wow, what's going on down there? Neva? Oh, did we crash because I was piloting us like crazy? No, there's an enemy. Electro discharge coil. Apparently, Nash Vex is fighting someone. Okay. Good job on that. Let's make sure the area is secure. Yeah, looks good. I'm sure someone will take care of that leak. <laughs> wow, that does so much damage. Anybody else want to board us? All right, well, we'll, we'll let Nash Rex take care of that while I talk about electrical engineering still. Um, before I dismantle this, which I, I will be dismantling it just to get it lined up with the, on the grid. Before I dismantle it, you should know where all the wires go. So for the bottom one, it's leading power into the left power box. 
power out leads to this junction box here. And this button leads all the way to the switch next to the navigation panel. Same thing over this top one, it leads to the battery on the right, that second junction box right here, and then all this line leads all the way out to the button. So that's what I need to rewire. The reason I need to rewire this is I'm 100% sure that any serious electric engineer player is going to be screaming at me if my wires are not vertical. And my wire cannot be vertical because the components are not on the grid. When these submarines were created, uh, some of the components and switches and stuff are not on the grid that the player can use, and maybe there's a way to go between the grid, but I don't know it. So if I were to play, plant a wire, it would be anchored here on this line and then go diagonal. For me, that's not such a big deal, but I know people will be <laughs> people will be mad. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and dismantle this by using the wrench. And we'll do it one at a time, even though I know where everything is, because I already rehearsed this once to make sure that I was going to do everything right. We'll plant the component. We'll plant it like one step away just so we can watch the wires do their magic. Now, for purposes of the you knowing what I've messed up with, we're going to be using orange instead of red so that you know that, hey, Tran did this wire. We're going to go ahead and attach it to power in. And we're going to left click on this battery. I'm pretty sure this was the one on the left. By left clicking on it, it tethers it behind it, and then we will hit E on it and do power out. Apparently, that's not the right battery. Got it mixed up. So it must be this one. Okay. So we'll go and dismantle that wire. That's fine. I can demonstrate how to get the wires back out. Once you've disconnected the wires on the other end, you click and drag the wire out of it. And there you go. So we'll go start over on that. And nine. Power in. We'll left click here. And then we'll select this power out. We'll do one more for the junction box. Power out. Connect it to the junction box. Power. And we'll go ahead and do this other component while we're here. Dismantle it. So you know that the orange is is, is human hum, human error if, if something happens here. Plant the component. Up to a screwdriver and wire, and then I can do power in. Left click here. And if I don't left click, it's going to be diagonal. Apparently we are short on air. Why Why was she short on air? It's because of all the plants. All right. Um, so what, were, what was I doing? Oh, right. Left click on this one. Power out. There we go. I had mixed it up again. And then we'll do the junction. It, it might be a plant thing. It probably is. Power out. Junction box. Power. So, because that's not the first time I've experienced that. Okay. So we need to use the wrench on this. To peel the button off the wall. And then we're going to get the switch. I must have put them all up. Not in there. So this is my leftover components box, and this is my primary components box. I, I don't have enough to really create intricate setups like a reactor thing. And I'll talk about those comments after we finish this first project. So let's grab a switch. I'm sure I had a one, because I had six of these. I don't know where it went. Maybe Tran is still holding it. Doesn't matter. I'm sure we'll come across it later. That, we're not worried about it. Okay. I'm going to plant the switch. We'll put it right next to the console. Actually, we'll put it one square away to make it easier to click on rather than clicking the console. Now we'll take the brown wire. This was originally a blue one. We'll wire it into the switch. Signal out. Left click inside the floor on the second tile down, so otherwise you'll see it as we cross, cross the doors. Then we'll run left. Uh-oh. Actually, I think I can left click this and then right click to cancel that one. Yeah, there we go. Click down here, and we'll wire it first to the component relay toggle state. We'll do another one, eight, toggle state, and run this other one back. And if I did this right, both batteries should be draining once I toggle this switch. Let's flip them back to zero. 
we have Officer Neva. Manual. Toggle that switch. Autopilot, that should be enough. Let's take a look. The one on the left did get drained. The one on the right did get drained. Okay, they both got drained and they're not getting drained any further. Yeah, they're still not getting drained. Okay, let's now do another hard steer, manual style. Or right, we'll double check it. Just making sure that I've got this all set up. Now we'll click this button. Stabilize. Okay, so now we're at 1120 and the switch is off. Let's do that one more time. Diving to the left. No drain. All right. So I did manage to rewire this successfully to a battery. Or not, yeah, to, to, the, to the relay battery. So this is a lot easier to see if it's on or off. Red being off, green being on. Whew. All right. Let's go and start sailing. Let's talk about some of those comments. First comment, Nashvex says that he thought capitalism was very important, and I agree with him. In, in these kind of games, money is your firepower. It serves as your ammo, it serves as your crew. It's very good, and that's why I make sure that we are always making sure we have enough of it. And I don't cheat to get it, unless you count, like, you know, enabling more missions cheating, which someone's always going to disagree with that, or playing on easy as cheating, whatever. I'm just saying, like, I'm playing the game with all the settings in the game. The only thing I've done was mod the uh, anime characters into it. That is it. Everything else is part of the base game. Uh, and, and I've not done console commands or any of that stuff. All right. Nonetheless, um, I'm running the missions. We can see that there, I have to fight exactly the same you would for, for normal missions. It's not like I've got it any easier. And in fact, sometimes a little more rough because I have all the enemies all at once. Um. But he talks about that, that, you know, with with money, maybe not being an issue. He, he does. I think he does support the Orca as our vessel of choice. He also agrees that he wanted to be a frogman. So this will allow him to be our expeditionary leader. Um, in the past, when I needed a soldier, I would bring Officer Neva out to the space stations or substations where the people were like in the, the shoot em up video where I tried the rapid fissile accelerator. She'll make sure our ship is very secure. But in general, I think we will be having Alf, uh, Nash of X swim out into the dark unknown and, and do our mining now. Maybe. I'm not quite sure how that'll all work out. Since he's the border, he'll probably be using an axe. And what, since Officer Neva is a gunner, she'll be using a rifle later on once we've built it. All right, next comment. I really enjoy these comments, by the way. Trying to get the my laptop to scroll, but it's lagging because Chrome is being Chrome. We're gonna smash into this bottom here. That's fine. Polgaretti says that I should totally make the reactor um, some sort of <laughs> uh, electrical engineering work on it. I barely was successful at making this switching a button to a switch. Uh, that's a little bit out of my skill range right now as a person, not as a player. Player, like, I've got high levels in, in electrical engineering, but as a person, I don't know much about it, and I don't have the components necessarily. As you saw, I don't. I have a, several components, but not a whole bunch of them. Like, there's a lot I'm missing. I have watched maybe, but we'll say, three to five hours of YouTube videos on electrical engineering. I don't understand any of it. Like, one talked about using an oscillated uh, component in order to make machines have a blinking light colored green to red to tell you if the machine needs repairs or not <laughs> i don't i don't have an oscillating component i don't have a regular expression component so there, there's a lot of stuff i'm missing but that is definitely something on my to-do list if i ever get good enough and i'm not sure i'll ever get good enough because that was actually my my impediment to learning how to play space station 13. like someone who plays it can not only fling poop at someone with the, his left hand but can probably rewire the entire space station with his right hand. Me? I would not know how to eat or drink, drink, a, drink a cup of whiskey, drink a glass of whiskey in that game. You know, my character probably starved to death if you even starve in that game. I don't know anything about how to play that. 
I'm rambling too much, and now we're about to hit the crawlers at a bad angle. Uh, Tran, you need to actually be on that gun. Maintain position. We'll switch over to Tran and see what he looks... So this is what it looks like from a gunner's perspective. Make sure you're on it and make sure you're ready. Once you tag an enemy, you're going to try to run away. So you can just get a few more easy shots if you lead them. Finish off that crawler and then dive back down. Put you on defend as well. How about that? The next time we get boarded. <laughs> Everybody's equipped with, with uh, blue harpoon guns. And there's harpoons everywhere. There's 24 harpoons in every supply cabinet besides these two. This is what they all look like. Even the one in the medic bay. It's got a hazmat suit, a diving mask, and four stacks of harpoons. Alright, first crawler pack is down. Let's continue reading the comments. Bulgaretti wanted a more central position. Actually, I felt that this area was one that's constantly getting a hit by stuff. Uh, this gun and this gun generally keeps the, the roof secure. It's this area here, the ballast region, that may get hit, but the electrical discharge coil pretty much takes care of that. This area has been breached like in the past, in the previous episode, like two or three times. Uh, but we went ahead and moved them more centrally over here. Uh, this is, would be central in the sub because there's no um, connection down here. I thought about tearing down the wall and then telling the AI to ignore the holes in the ship. But in, the game actually does not consider this part of the ship and it will start flooding if, if I rip open a wall here. Even though there is a wall down right here at the bottom of the ship, uh, if, I, if I try to connect ballast tank C to ballast tank B, it will start flooding the ship. So the only thing I could do is just rip through the middle and uh, make new doors there, but... Uh, we'll just leave this as is. So, Bulgretti is currently in the command room, but he is manning a gun right now to build up his experience. Now, one of the one of the very interesting comments, Istvan K, talks about how we can do with as a frogman build the slip suit, and I didn't really think about the slip suit very much, but he definitely gives food for thought. He says that instead of carrying a cargo container, uh, cargo scooter. I instead built a slip suit and just carry container storage container boxes or briefcases with me. The slip suit is supposed to be faster, which is one of the reasons why we gave Nash Vex the 20% swim speed increase. He did ask that I make sure that I have, and, and if I'm not moving all the time, it's because I'm trying to look at the comments and talk about them. Um, he did also make sure that uh, suggest that I make sure I have a guy on ammo. I, I feel like I, I may have missed it, but I generally have ammo done, and then oxygen and energy, maybe. But ammo is something that I generally try to have someone doing reloads on. Speaking of reloads, I want all of these coil gun shots to be used up before we tap into these shredder rounds. So this is a ignore this button right here, meaning the AI should not be grabbing from this shelf. Well, of course, I'll relinquish that once we're done with this coil gun ammunition. So that's when we'll upgrade. And I think those are the comments. All right, let's go ahead and do this mining. We'll try with the new slip suit technology. Also, I never did learn how to open this at custom hatch slash uh, airlock. Yeah, it's custom hatch, which is probably for like when I dock the stations or something. I would like to be able to open it, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, as I get as I become better at electrical engineering, maybe that will be a thing. Position ourselves here so that the post laser is able to aim into the cavern. Turn off our active sonar. You will take care of that. We need a new person to take care of the, the engine room, so that is now your job again. Take care of that. Nash of X. I have you stole your, your metal armor in here. 
Why are you carrying bandages around? I may have been reworking your tool belt at one point. Probably to add a scooter in there or something. I don't know. Um, we'll drop off the fuel rods. Alright. Oh, that... Before we do the slip suit, let me go and work that aluminum. I, I put that there so you can see how I'm training my characters. It's very, very... Uh, quick and easy. So that's a huge stack of aluminum. So we're going to train her in, ox uh, in in mechanical engineering. This is electrical engineer, obviously. And this is also how I get so many good quality tanks. Look how fast this is. Watch this. That's plus three, remember. And by the way, we're going to have Nashvex make sure he's... Stay here. Stay right here while I craft. That's another three. That's another three. That was literally 9 points, 12 points right now. 15 points. And there we go. And then we'll just shove these back in. I mean, I, I have a lot of oxygen tanks that are good quality, so I'm not worried about that. And I also have tons of aluminum. If I look here, each one of these tool belts is worth 48 aluminum. Except for this last one, which I keep a few right here so I know for sure which tool belt I'm looking at. All right, uh, so that's that's that taken care of. Let's continue working on these outfits. We'll shove this here. Type in diving combat suit. Why is it not? Hey, let's type. Oh, whatever. All right, you may say like, "Well, I need to build a slip suit." To build the slip suit, I need the combat diving suit first. I've already prepared the materials for recording. If I needed to make diving suits, I would need three, well, one titan titanium alloy each and two rubber. So I was going to prepare three suits, but I just, you know, happened to find three diving suits on the space st substation. No biggie. And drop off these. There we go. We'll go and make a combat diving suit. We'll start with the one. Okay, then we need a slip suit, which will require these resources. While that's crafting, you can see here that the metal crate is actually dumping or get, collecting all the aluminum. This is mechanical engineering, and Nashvex probably shouldn't be crafting it because he's maxed on mechanical engineering, but this is fine. This is the first suit. Uh, he'll have the honors. Now he'll need some oxygen for it. Before it. There we go. Now he says that stored that carrying the other stuff would not keep me from firing weapons. I don't know how to fire weapons when I'm carrying either a storage crate. This is my cell crate. Uh, this is stuff that I don't want to deconstruct because I'll just get um, honking horns out of it. <laughs> and it's just it's just random gibberish that I picked up to steal. It wasn't that I was stealing clown outfits particularly. I just swept everything up and things that I didn't want to deconstruct. I just shoved in this box. Harmonicas don't give you anything when you deconstruct them. So that's my sale sale box. Anyways, I don't know how to fire while carrying that, nor do I know how to fire while carrying these briefcases. I know it's called storage container, it looked like a briefcase to me, and if I say storage container, maybe you'll think of these. Make sure I get all the blood from these guys. Crawler mask, okay. We'll just shove it in this cabinet for now. So if I were to say try to hit one or harpoon gun, you hear that beep? Does not like it. Maybe it just I mean maybe I need a smaller gun, so let's try a different weapon. And maybe you can't do it with two hands. Yeah, I mean I'll try all of these things. So we'll try one-handed and with the SMG. All he does is put it in the briefcase. So 
So I would have to drop them, I think. Uh, so if you are able to elaborate on what you mean by that, the comment says specifically, the slip suit lets you swim faster than the scooter and you can carry a crate, which is 20 slots, or two storage containers, which is 24 slots. And for mining, it won't take your hand slots for fighting and you rarely get more mineral, get materials, get more materials than there are inventory slots. Uh, speaking of which, we should probably drop off those things here. Like he, he's not going to need his wrench and his screwdriver and stuff while outside the ship. Keep the stun baton, a couple harpoons. Nine harpoons, in addition to the six I'm currently carrying. We'll see how let's see how fast he is. Refresh my oxygen tank. He's got a underwater scooter just in case. The handheld sonar. Let's see how fast we are. Uh, maybe we're super fast. Well, I will go and grab the cargo scooter for now, just to see how fast we are. Oh wow, that is fast. Okay, let's try dropping this, see if it slows us down any. Okay, now let's try using this to move. Okay, we, I think we are faster with the cargo scooter, but yeah, I definitely see some advantages to using the slip suit. All right, maybe I do need someone to weld that. Any corpses I should get some alien blood from? I don't see anything. stack to the left and then the quest items above that <laughs> did he just pulse laser that crawler I think he might have Wow. Yeah. That's my harpoon. That's why I always that's why I always leave the ship fully ready to ready for war. Now, one thing I don't really know how to do is heal. Let's try doing some of this stuff. Tool belt. Uh, I mean, morphine might be a little much for this. Um, and I did put up his bandages. We'll I'll give him one. He can feel better. Put it in the torso. I believe that's not all eight. Okay. Um, I didn't bring... Let's see, tell me he has one. Okay, he has a plasma cutter with him. I was going to say I didn't bring one. And yeah, I intentionally lined up... As, as, I, as, you, as you heard me say earlier, I intentionally lined up the submarine so we could fire into this cave if necessary. I'm just surprised it did fire... Like, I figured I was just way too far for it anyways. But maybe they're, I would need an evac or something. I needed to flee and they could shoot at it. Where's Jason? I didn't really have a com uh, comprehensive game plan in mind. Put everything else, like my harpoon gun. You you automatically put everything else in there, game. Yeah, I probably would not have even built the slip suit if 
if it wasn't suggested. I would have just figured it would just be one more suit to worry about, but it definitely has its advantages. Since I spawned so many quests, this quest area, I'm assuming this is a uh, de des designated mineral location for the quest area. And <laughs> all of these things are being spawned, have spawned in the same location. Alright, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Of course, I'll sort that out later. In you go. On your armor. Carry these, just in case. Get your welder out. And before I forget and regret it, let's go ahead and water these real Wow, I almost failed these plants. I know I could plant them closer together. I just didn't really like the way that looked. And maybe I will in the future. But I also don't care that much about having these plants. Supposedly the wiki says this is good money. Likely once I move to another ship I probably won't plant anymore. Okay. Nashvex, so you continue to control the reactor. And I think that's about it. We got to get some uranium ore and fight all these swarms.
what I'd like to do is, if I could have faith in the AI, order my crew to prepare for an expedition and swim out there and kill them. Wow, there's so many swarm that I'm actually, I can see my game lagging. <laughs> There might be one swarm left, but where are the bodies? I'm not going to worry too much about tracking them down. Oh yeah, is there anything I need to weld while I'm out here? Jeez, that hurt. I mean, that's only half life, but that looked painful. It couldn't be that bad because she still has her morphine in her helmet <laughs> and her morphine in her uh, PUCS. I still see the swarm. That's what I was also looking for when I was uh, emerged out of there. No, I've never looted a spineling. Maybe I should go do that. I'll do that as soon as I kill this swarm if they're on the ship. I don't know how the other crawlers didn't have any loot. It's not a cargo thing. Apparently these eggs are decaying. What do you have? Spineling spikes and alien blood. Wrench and double click. There we go. Apparently, I can only hear one spike. Oh, I have an extra pocket. Just put it in there for now. Don't worry about all the other holes that need to be patched later. 
I just wanted to at least loot one of the spinelings because I've never checked their corpse before. It says dormant. <laughs> I don't know how safe this is to be bringing it on our ship, but it is a crafting resource as well. Are you done with everything? Jesus Christ. Check, check, check. Mining, mining, mining. Well, let's start from the top, make sure I don't miss anything. Coalition transport. Biohazard. Mining uranium have done enough. Mining legbanite have done enough. Mined enough ilmenite and camosite. Uh, bringing shipment of clown supplies. Mined out of diamond. Yeah, we've done everything. So that was a fairly eventful, at least to me, uh, trip. Did some electric engineering, talked about our crew, read the comments. I mean, I, I think it was a very robust episode, but I mean, I know I didn't get a lot achieved in the time in the scale of game numbers, such as how far we've traveled. I get that, but I think there's a lot, been a lot of development in this episode. What do you want? Give me a bit. Oh, I guess we could always look around real fast. Uh, let's do that. Merchant, what do you got for us? Stun grenades, sure, let's load up. Actually, I probably can't use these. Grenade launcher, I don't have one of those. Okay, now, um, probably buy some explosives. Or all the explosives, anyways. The under material. Doesn't look like it. I mean, some of them were, but some of these are not. I don't actually know what I'm doing with explosives. I just, since I'm working on crafting and electroengineering, kind of learning how that all goes. What's in this box? Nothing. All right. Tran, I need you to sit tight while I uh, straighten out our bot AI over here. Don't have any new subs, right? Yeah. Probably want detonators. I, I don't like that detonators don't stack, but I understand why they don't, in a way. Oh, you, no, they could still use the same interface as things like fuel rods and oxygen tanks, though. They stack as long as they are all the same or have nothing in them, right? I think that's a good setup, but whatever. Uh, text displays do not stack either. We have some water. I can't... You guys are talking too much. I can't see what's behind all this. Smoke detector. I have some of those. Levers don't stack. Alright. can also update our crew names. That's This is generally what I do at port, but I'll, sh I'll show you because I've never shown it before. Not that it's something amazing. Uh, she's actually engineer 293. The reason why it's 93 is if we take a look at her profile, plus 10. And that plus 10 is not from the assistant. It's not from clothing. It's actually from grounded. So we'll consider that as part of her stats. That's why this is Doc 1, 115. She's got 15 extra from... What does she have it from? Oh, right here, first aid training. Gain a bonus of 15 to medical. That's why I call it 115. I don't know if the game actually calculates that.
Wow. Nobody needs healing. Okay. This arms dealer over there. So this is a separatist place, and I don't have that stellar of a uh, relationship with them. Scrap cannon. Okay. It's more. I have nine underwater scooters, apparently. All right, that's enough for everybody, then. Because I only have eight people. Nothing immediately jumps out at me. I will go and, of course, buy everything. Detonators. Just, just sort of kind of browsing it real quick. Okay, weapons. All the C4 blocks, all the compound N, all the IC4 blocks, nitroglycerin, UEX. We'll go to materials. I'll start adding ethanol. We don't really have any poisons on the ship. Not really sure how necessary that is. Definitely went to magnesium. We can make uh, anti rads with radiotoxin. I have some steel bars, but like not nearly as much as I have plastic. Is that everything? I think that's all. Do we need flash powder? Hmm, probably not. Alright, and just stuff to check, uh, you know, and then put potential thievery targets. As for selling stuff, we do have all those bike horns, clown outfits that don't really go into salvaging. Uh, but don't know about crawler mask. I'm not sure what we can do with those. Perhaps you can deconstruct it. I don't know anything yet. We'll have to check it out. I guess you guys do not play. Oh, yeah, that's under equipment. Bike horns. Only one mark, apparently. Harmonicas. I remember that being in the chest. 16. So that's what our routine looks a little like when we reach a station. Obviously, I don't show it every time, but I mean, our ship went through quite a few paces on that one, and we're going to have to take some time patching up the holes in it. Still got to reorganize the inventory. I look forward to reading more of your comments, and I'm always willing to learn more about the game. If you want to continue to support the crew, please go ahead and enlist today. Thank you very much for watching Tran Plays Barrel Trauma. See you next time.